Hey guys, Dan here from KBMod.com, and this is the first in a new series that we're starting called Speed Dating. For those of you who don't know what speed dating is in real life, it's when you go into a room and you have like five minutes to talk to someone, sometimes even less, to decide whether you want to go on a date with them, and you just move from table to table talking to each person. Our version is going to be obviously with PC games. We will give a game 30 minutes. We'll play through for 30 minutes, or if there's a demo of the game, we'll play that. And then give you our first impressions and a general rundown of the game. Uh, we hope you enjoy it, and the first up in this series is going to be new MMORPG, Terra. Terra is a new MMO coming out from Ma in Mass Entertainment and developed by Blue Hole Studios. The game comes out May 1st. Terra starts out with many MMO conventions you'll be familiar with. There are seven races to choose from, all with different traits to help them out, whether it be more stamina and adrenaline rush, uh, little cooldowns like that. The game even has an animal race, just like the pandas of WoW, called the Popery. Popery, I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce it, but they actually look more raccoonish than like pandas, but they're very familiar. There's eight classes in Terra. All the normal roles of an MMORPG are filled. Uh, there's two tank classes, the Lancer and the Warrior. The Lancer is an absorption tank, kind of like the Death Knight or Druid from WoW, while the Warrior is an evasion tank, focusing on not getting hit in the first place. All of these also have a DPS spec. The Healers are the Priest, which is classified as a main healer, and the Mystic, which is classified as a support healer. Again, both have a DPS spec. The pure DPS classes are the Archer, Sorcerer, Slayer, and Berserker. The Berserker can be likened to a Fury Warrior, the Slayer is like a Rogue, wears leather only. So, so far, we're kind of hitting all the World of Warcraft, Star Wars, uh, Knights of the Old Republic conventions. But, Terra isn't just another WoW, it really isn't. The emphasis the game has on the graphical side of things, and also on combat, is much different. Combat is extremely fun in the game. You can actually set up skill trigger chains and combos, kind of like a fighting game. You're not just going to be hitting your main skill and auto-attacking uh, mobs. This is a lot more interactive. You're going to be a lot more involved in combat. After hitting certain combos of skills, combat chains start to become available, and it would be like, hit spacebar for this, or you know, hit spacebar for this skill right after, and you'll be able to have them available faster. It's fast-paced, interactive, and you also have to uh, dodge and jump, and again, more like a fighting game or an action RPG than an MMO. During the short time I got to play, I just had flat-out fun killing monsters, which in WoW, there was, it was kind of joyless when you were doing a quest to collect like 57 rabbit ears or something. Uh, this actually takes a lot of that out of it because you need to be involved in the combat. There's no range markers for, for caster skills. I was playing as a sorceress. So if you're not in range, you won't know it till you cast it, really. Uh, you have a reticle on your screen for all classes where, that can show you exactly which mob you're targeting. You can play this game with a controller or a keyboard and mouse. Either one works fine. Uh, so you'll be comfortable either way. Another thing that Terra's added is a third stat beyond your health and whatever magic points your class might have, and that is stamina. It's a little heart-shaped meter right underneath your uh, hit points and magic points, and what it does is the more stamina you have, you'll get a bonus to hit points and magic points, but as you fight and explore, the further away you are from fires, the longer time you're away from a campfire, which will increase your stamina again as if you were camping out. It will decrease until you're too tired to go on. So being re well rested helps up your hit points and magic points and will give you special buffs. So it's not just kind of a thrown in thing, kind of like the campfire in WoW was. And you'll be able to make campfires yourself eventually. I never felt crippled by it in, in the short time playing with it, but you can see how it would really help leveling uh, to have stamina up the whole time. As far as the story side of things, in 30 minutes, obviously we're not going to get that far into the lore behind the game. The prologue really did have me grabbed though. It really wanted, I really wanted to figure out what was happening next. The game actually starts you out in a prologue as like a level 20 or so of whatever class you choose, 
and you go through a previous battle where, at least in my case, my commander went missing, and then the actual game started almost out of nowhere. I didn't really know what was happening. You're a level 1 of the chosen class at that point. This gives you a tutorial on kind of how to play and holds your hand before the class to learn the class before it really matters. Now I mentioned graphics before and graphically Terra is absolutely fantastic. On my system, which I have an AMD 965 Black Edition and a GTX 570, the game played smoothly at high and ultra settings. Aeon and Rift also look quite good for an MMO, but I like the anime aesthetic that they have in Terra. It doesn't look cheesy at all, the game just flat out looks good. Now on to the negatives for this game. And these were kind of a deal breaker for me, honestly. I truly enjoyed playing the game. The deal breaker for me was the price. It's going to be a full retail title coming in at $49.99 to most retailers, and on top of this, they're going to have you do a monthly subscription. The base comes in at $14.99, but if you want to commit to a whole year, I think it ends up being less than $10 a month. In my opinion, the subscription system, even for MMOs, is kind of antiquated at this point. With a lot of MMOs going free to play and basing on microtransactions, or having you purchase the title one time, such as Guild Wars 2, and there might be microtransactions in that, this is going to have the same system that WoW and Star Wars have, and WoW is actually rumored to be considering dropping the monthly fee at some point. Um, I just really don't, I really think this is going to turn a lot of players away from Terra. If they had just had you buy the game for $50 and then no subscription, I would have pre-ordered it right after playing. I liked it that much. But the fact is, I'm subscribed to WoW right now, and personally, I won't be paying for two MMOs. Just won't be doing it monthly. Overall, I found the game to be really fun, and the combat keeps everything fresh and keeps the feel of the grind really out of it. The game looks beautiful. If you want to check out more information on it, check out terra.nmass.com. The link will be in the description. The game launches May 1st, but if you aren't looking for another subscription, it might not be for you. That's it for this edition of Speed Dating. and.